Hello, people. It is Patri Gabe signing on to episode 7 of our Seleucid Let's Play. <sighs> Where we left off, we're in quite a bind. We've lo lost much of our lower provinces to the Egyptian menace, along with the uh, Nabataeans who have really just been able to get the better of me. Yeah. Really in a tight bind right now. Really the only thing that's good is going on is that we have a uh, we've managed to beat an Egyptian navy back. Our food is still down. That's probably from the patch 8. We're also losing those two food producing provinces. So we have some new food buildings going out. Hopefully they'll come quickly before um, Pontus or the Bithynians can attack Tarsus, which seems to be the only province being affected by the food. Probably going to lose Adamat too, which sucks. But uh, losing it will get rid of some food, like use. No, you can't recruit. Well, let's raise another army. Oh, we really need better troops. Unlocked Persian hoplites and regular pikes. Yeah, so this is definitely the way we have to go. That'll be most of our money for this turn. That's in Palmyra, which is there, so we don't want to lose that. And let's... Yeah, we're doing pretty poorly in court nobles right now, so we're going to want to argue a statesman. Yeah, just, this guy's going to be free too, so that will be good. Uh, I'm thinking the war elephants is going to be the best. Yeah. See how much that takes us down? Garrison in Antioch. Okay, well, I think that's all we can do this turn. We'll end the turn and see what happens. Hopefully the Egyptians decide to stay in Jerusalem. Yes, they do. That's lucky. Pontus just ran through our territory. Don't know what they're up to. Look to your gods and pray. For only oh, in great. will you now find mercy. Armenia's come to us. Medea, man, I'm loving these guys. These guys are the best. <laughs> Freaking heroes. Bithynia. So it looks like we're gonna get a couple turns. I forgot to set a timer. Yeah, not sure there's a way we can win this. So we'll just auto resolve. We'll be all aggressive. Oh, oh yeah, there that goes. Oof. Do we kill like no one? I only kill 163. That sucks. Yeah, so they're gonna take that province and start rehealing. Okay, so. That's really done much better for our food, so we can thank them for that. Lost the garrison army, lost the settlement, some javelin men, got an edict, and got some morale. That's Arculus. Nice. Okay, let's handle this guy. Sophocles. I don't have the money to spare. Sound him. Okay. Okay, let's. 
I don't want to go across the desert. We'll go up towards Dura. Actually, stop a little bit before. I still want you to be able to recruit at the end of your move. So now we have good amounts of javelin men. Let's get another unit of pikes. Uh, Eastern spears are garbage. We don't need them. And it looks like we can get another unit of slingers and unit of javelin. It's all about saving money over effectiveness right now as we're trying to put more armies in the field for an eventual assault on Egypt. And these guys are definitely very powerful. I don't believe I have the troops. We have four armies right now. These guys are getting massacred because of the lack of food. This should finish up next turn though and give us some more, which is what we really need. Um, you probably won't be able to get any troops because I'm recruiting in these guys. Yeah, they're going to march down and retake Adamatu. Yeah, so... Right, these guys will be moving down there to take Adamatu back. Really, we're, we're going to try and ignore the Egyptians for right now. We're going to hit the desert factions as our armies are superior in the field. And it's really only in large numbers where they're um, a threat. Can we get a horse? No, they're gonna take two torrents. Not, not really worth it. I am debating though, just buying some more troops here to bolster the numbers while we wait. Let's get some. Let's get some slingers for the walls, as it's gonna be hell in that city. Okay, let's end the turn. Now, hopefully, our food problems will go away. And yeah, they're running out to sea. Uh. This is not good really could have used an extra turn. Let's see, what do they have, though? They're attacking with a lot of shitty troops. Pretty sure we're not gonna get burning oil, though, which would have been nice. This is a good general, though, so I think we have a chance. I'll see you on the battle map. And here we are on the battle map. I didn't notice this when we were on the campaign map, but they do have some reinforcements all the Psychops Slayers, whoever they are. Uh, we do have a f pretty large army, though. There are the Eastern Slingers and the Garrisons, Mob. Okay. That's cool. It's kind of like walls leading up to their temple. Very nice. So over here, we'll have a tower, which is good. And we'll set all of our slings up here. Just gonna lay hell here. Um, pike him at the gates. Pike him at the gates. Not very good on the walls. I don't know where the other reinforcements come in, so we'll leave. Okay, we'll leave these two. I just don't think there's another way in. Oh, there's a gate right here. I think that's the only other gate, though. Alright? Yeah, so unless the other army brings ladders, we'll be fine. We'll just set these pikemen up at these gates real quick. General. Easy. You have the trample and the inspire ability, so you're gonna come in handy. I want you by this gate. Uh, what else can we do? Eastern Spears, probably going to be best on the walls. Defensive position. So that's where you'll go. Hold position. Stay alert. Just putting these guys on the wall, really, looking in. And we'll even throw some hillmen up here, just for that extra muscle. Guard. Yep, awesome. Okay, and now we're going to want our... 
these guys can go over here. I'm probably going to reposition them. Probably going to reposition those guys later. I want my javelin men over here. There's going to be a hail of missiles coming at us. I want these javelin men kind of watching. Going to be shooting over there. Um, who else do we have? Ooh, we got some more levy pikes from the garrison. We'll keep them right here, behind them. We can throw them in the fight later. Infantry at your command. Uh, we'll keep these hillmen here, so they can respond to either gate. And this seems to be the only capture point, so we'll keep the mob there. Alright, hopefully this doesn't go terribly. I kind of need this city. The sling should be open. Ooh, that was a bird. Okay, our slingers are gonna probably gonna start opening Enemy fire. Reinforcements approaching. Oh, good. The reinforcements are coming from this angle as well. So I. Ooh, these guys have hoplites, so this is clearly a much more powerful army coming in to reinforce. Okay, let's let's pull these hillmen over here and let's pull the pikes as well um one of you go here and the other one go watch this street yeah we're starting to rake in the kills on these later troops they are. Looks like one of them is not facing the right way. No, casualties are really starting to mount for a couple of these units. This one especially. Okay, I'm really expecting just to charge through. Oh, looks like the reinforcements have stopped. So, well, that's good. Now it's like... Starting to come with the ladders, though. This is definitely... Ooh! That was awkward. I decided just to... I guess the CJI is its finest? I don't know where they're going. They push the ladders to the... Oh! Looks like their army is re... Now they're just gonna come under fire from like my entire army. Not sure if that was the smartest idea. The towers are just gonna wreck these guys. Oh, they're gonna have a, they're gonna have an uphill. Of, it's like they're gonna wait for the reinforcements to show up and just be under fire the entire time. Uh, they have some good troops coming in that reinforcement army. It's something to definitely be worried about. Yeah. So at this point, it's kind of just... We're opening fire. Our spears are yours. I don't know who's shooting at us. The slingers, maybe? Oh, we got one of their chariots. And one of the mercenary hillmen's wavering. We must have been pushing the, one, the ladders. I kind of wish it told me who's dying where. Um, oh yeah, looks like we're starting to cause some damage. Oh yeah! Looks like we're starting to cause some damage in those chariots. Oh, uh, did we get the general? I oh, don't know, the chariots are gone. Am I going to kill any of their men? Because that would be great too. Doesn't look like it. Looks like they all got back up. Stupid. They should all be dead. Yeah, so we're just... We are 
at your command. We're opening fire right now. We're under fire from something. It's causing some casualties, but I'm not too worried. I uh, wish their infantry numbers were getting hit a bit more. That'd be great. Still haven't even tried to burn the gate. I'm not boiling oil either. Really need to get that. I need to figure out how, how we get that. You're not doing it. Hey, no, you're a hillman. You're shooting. You're shooting. You're shooting. I don't know what they're shooting at. Some of these guys have got seven kills. Fifty-eight. One of our units has used all its ammunition. So you used got a total of sixty-two kills. Pretty useless, I'm not gonna lie. You can stay on the wall and take some fire. I don't really know what the AI is up to right now. Hopefully these guys will be tired. Oh boy. Towers are doing most of the damage to that slinger unit. Which I appreciate. Let's get a close up. Uh. Oh wow. They're. That's what they've been doing. They've been killing my infantry. Slingers! Slingers! Yeah, they've really been doing a number of my troops. Ah, uh, who's the other? Javelin guy? men! It's like we're getting one of their javelin men. Oh, here come the pikemen. So these guys are going to take the, uh... These guys are going to be the forlorn hope of the enemy. What are your orders? Oh, it looks like they're dropping like flies, though. Javelman should be loosening some stuff right now. Right, they're going to start burning the gate pretty quick. Oh, we're already getting the levy pikes to waver though, which is good. Oh, it's like some eastern slingers are coming up as well. Oh, there. They got their nerve back. Nope, never mind. Let's take a look from the Pontic perspective. Oh, one of them went. Um, we'll ignore him for a little bit. Okay. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Who just ran out of ammo? One. They did, somehow. Javelin men at the gate are doing pretty well, though. Really doing a number on these hoplites. I mean, all things considered, they're doing very little damage to the gate as well. Oh, uh, looks like they're... Those are their slingers. The javelin men shattered. These are really the quality men, and... Their unit too, so surprise they're using them to burn down the gate. Definitely a ballsy move. Ooh. Sucks to be him. Yeah, 
this is definitely pretty bloody. One of our units has used all its ammunition. I feel bad. Yeah, yeah these guys are getting. We are yeah, you're 74. You guys are apparently getting ripped to shreds. Let's reposition. Everyone get out there. I want you throwing as many javelins as possible. Yeah, you definitely tell the quality is much better in the uh, hoplites and in the levee pikes. Glad these guys are going down before everyone else. We're going to speed it up as I forgot to set a timer. So we're kind of just watching at this point. I don't know what my slingers are shooting at. Hopefully guys back there. It looks like some damage has been done. Looks like one of the hoplites is finally gone. Down to 25 before they're routed. Much better. I mean, that's bad. I'd hate to be wasting my ammo. I mean, this Here goes all my slings, pretty much. Um... At this point, I'm really debating just stopping recording. As we're kind of just watching the enemy sit in front of my gates and do nothing. It's One of our units has used all its ammunition. It is possible they may have glitched. Not entirely sure, though. Thank God the towers never run out of ammo. Okay. Guys in the back are still doing stuff. One of our units has used all its ammunition. And I think that would be one of our javelin men on the walls. Okay, so our javelin men are out of ammo. We'll run them over here. And bring up the bring up a fresh unit. You also out of ammo? You are. So you can also come over here. Oh, put those guys up. Oh. It's like uh, they're going to try wave two now. damage. Here comes wave two. Only brought it up another 10%. Oh uh, yeah, we're really lancing through them with our javelins. Who else do they have? They got some... One of our units has used all its ammunition. I think this is our last missile unit actually with ammo, so we're just gonna focus them down. Let's go back to regular mode and we can watch uh, another unit of Eastern Spearmen going down. Got 128 men there. This formation isn't really helping them either. This javelin are really just bringing them down. I don't think we'll be able to stop them before they're running. I think they're going to be able to burn the gate down this time. Yep, and that's the last of our ammo. Uh, looks like. We're gonna face a charge. You can go into Pike, or probably be pushed forward. Yeah, there goes the gate. Yeah. It's just no fun. You just see the amount of Pontic bodies that have piled up right there. Um. So what do they have left? They have this unit of pretty full Eastern Spears. Very depleted. 
some pretty good stuff on their left. There goes the gate. Oh. Our gates are utterly destroyed. Here they come. Have the eastern. Oh, the cavalry's not gonna be coming, thank god. Yeah, we did a lot of damage with our uh, with our just very large missile contingent. So now we're just gonna have to try and hold the walls. Uh what's these eastern spearmen don't have a lot of Men left, but we're gonna bring them down anyway. Looks like some men are going for the ladders. I want you to go through over there. So we're gonna. We are gonna hit. Ooh, again. Frame rate dropped to 10. We're just gonna go. Steady. And look, one unit's already down. Doing pretty well right now. Not too worried. Have the helmet come down. Ooh, fire, that's not good. We'll match it with the Inspire ability. That guy in the center. Oh, that's gonna crush him. I foresee that doing some major damage. Oh, that's not what I wanted you to do. Uh, Eastern Spearman going down. Yeah, these guys just have very shitty morale. These guys are just freaking out. Yeah, we're shattering these guys. A lot of men going down out there. We got their general, so that's good. He is not even facing the right way anymore. The men are wavering. Up on the walls, not a problem. We'll push our phalanx in. Now yeah, it's like that's that. Um, right, we're not gonna chase them down. We'll execute all the prisoners, and that should be good enough. End battle. I'll see you guys on the campaign map. And here we are. Um, as you can see, we really did a number on these guys. I mean, most of them are dead. So that's good to know. That very few of these guys are getting away. And we're going to kill all the captives. Because I'm pissed off. And we should be getting more food soon. Bithnia, Whew. Okay, they're not coming this turn, which would be very bad. Oh, god damn it. Galatia has attacked. Medea. God damn it, we need them on our side. We can't risk having a enemy faction right there. So we're at war with pretty much the entire known world in the, uh, in the east. And still, food is a problem. Impossibly. Just incredibly. Food is still a problem, even though we have this coming in. And these men are still going to be starving. This is, like, really bad. Can we get better food from you? Is that a thing? So, okay, tactician is just that. Do this. Somehow we're still low on food, and it's pissing me off. And we can't afford this stuff as we're poor. 
Tiros, that needs to finish up so we can get that plus eight food. I don't even know how the food mechanics work at this point. Okay. Maybe it's because we're bringing in more troops. On the bright side, we did get some new, uh, after scratch. Ouch. Onto their shots. Wow. I've never seen that before. That's funny. Wow. Okay. So we definitely got some more troops. Let's see if that consecrated ground can provide us a little food. Um... There it is. Shrine of Poseidon. Three food. Yes, we will do that. So that is three turns away. But food will be plentiful very soon. Hopefully this army will be able to hold out. Let's give the champions of Olympus some men. Actually, no. Let's wait. Let's wait and make sure the Hosideros barracks gets complete before we do that. The defenders are pretty much done. I just want... Oh, two more cav and a hailman. Yeah. So there's that. You guys can probably fortify. So they're going to protect the route to Palmer. The Egyptians are just sitting there. Yeah, so we're going to ignore the Egyptians for a minute, and we're just going to attack these cities. So that's the new battle plan. Um, I don't know how long I've been recording. You guys do, because it will be a YouTube video. But I don't. And these guys are also pissed off. Which sucks, but I can't do anything about it. And I don't... I do have enough money for a hero. Um... Get a... Get this guy, Dion. Recruit him. Because we're going to need something to fight off that veteran. Okay, I think we can do one more end turn. If we get into a battle, I'll just quit. Because I don't have that much time, I know that much. So we'll save this. Our realm is significantly smaller, I've noticed. It sucks. And let's... Can you... Oh, you can rotate... Oh, that's right, you can. That's cool. Um, let's just end the turn. Hopefully nothing will happen. Oh, no, Egypt. Don't choose now. Okay, they didn't. Pontus has run away. Hopefully the Bithynians won't attack. Those are the guys I'm worried about. Oh... I don't know where they're going. Trying to kill him? Oh, there's a Bithynian. Oh. Bithynia has a very strong power. It's like they're rearranging some armies. Hey, look at that. That's comforting. Tactical flux stability. Nice. Peace has been negotiated. And we're still facing a pretty serious food shortage. Oh, there's more of them. God damn it. Oh, yeah, these guys are dying. Only one more turn. Hopefully. It looks like the happiness is fine again. Colchis has... Satrapy Trapezos? Never seen that before. Colchis. Who are these people? We should go take a look at the trade. Galatia just got wrecked, so we're not at war with them anymore. That's good. Arculus. You have... No, I'd, I'd much rather keep my elephant units in the fight, so we'll keep that there. And we found a concealed team agent. Let's see. How what can we I serve you? Oh, uh, 
not a very good chance. You're a level two agent. What are you? I am great up and mighty Achilles. Ooh, whew, don't want to mess with him. Let's have, Dion. Let's have Dion get up here. Let's see if we can manipulate. I'd love this guy to come over to my side. It's a little expensive, but we're not going to be buying units this turn. Uh, yeah, we've hindered him. So that's good at least. Let's see if we can get some more food. Hey, you leveled up. Good for him. Uh, plus two wealth from commerce. Plus two from agriculture. Yes, yeah, so let's do this as we'll be able to get better farms. You need to be upgraded. And we'll give you... We'll give you this because I have a feeling you're going to be in for some stuff. Okay. One more thing for you in the episode. We're crossing into enemy territory. We're taking back Adumatu. This army's huge. We've got plenty of light cavalry. We're going we're gonna to definitely cause some damage. Alright. So, altogether, much less depressing than normally on the Seleucid campaign. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I'll see you guys next time.